Got a question here from Jimmy Conway, 88. Did Lee ever train with Milos Sarchev? No. They are both very outspoken against the IFBB. Seems they would have a lot in common. No, I never trained with Milos. I trained at his gym a couple of times when he um, used to own Gold's gym down in Fullerton. We did a lot of few photo shoots there and would speak to him at contests and that, but then, no, I never trained with him and then Told him he was silly that time he put oil in his arms and almost killed himself because the oil went into his veins and shit and he almost died. Like I said, Milos had great symmetry, he became in condition, he looked great and he was never known for big arms but he tried to make his arms bigger and almost killed himself so <laughs> that was pretty silly but no, he never trained with Milos but Milos was a good guy, good competitor back in the day so not sure what he's doing now but yeah he always had problems with the IFBB, he'd get in trouble a bit being outspoken, I think he got suspended and wasn't allowed back in or something, but I'm not sure what's happening with me like these days. And he would, would have been around the time when you were competing yeah. frequently. Yeah, 90, around 97, 98 he was still competing. I think not like Arthur, I think he stopped. I know he was on the European tour in 97 with us, so yeah, so probably maybe the 90s he stopped. I can't remember when, but around then. And wasn't he known for using very liberal... Um, I know people we used to go see him the more to do with insulin and stuff like that. People would always talk about Milos was the guy to see because he knew how to do insulin and use insulin and stuff like that. So most people go see him for some of the drug cycles and insulin and that protocol. That's a good word, isn't it? Protocol. And you never sought out his um, advice? Advice? No. No. After seeing Arnie Rembod's advice, that was enough. <laughs> at, least, at least Milos was a competitor, you know. You compare his physique to Honey Rembrandt, well, who are you going to pick? If you were going to see someone for advice. The pro creator who already, you know, creates pros that are already pros, or <laughs> go see a pro. <laughs> and you call yourself a pro creator still. He hasn't created nothing. And, you know, was that ever a concern amongst bodybuilders that, you know, he might have learned how to use insulin, but you know, did he have a scientific background or was it just trial and error? It must have been trial and error. So, but even then, so I said, back in the day when I was with other bodybuilders, we never talked about drugs or talked about insulin. I wouldn't, like I said, I just heard from other people who went to see him, you know, like I know um, Sonny Schmidt would go hang out and train with me, lost a bit and stuff like that. Then Luke Wood would go train with me, lost a bit. But apart from people telling you, I was like, I mean, it never came up. That's why I always laugh when amateurs talk about drugs, drugs, drugs. And that, but you hang around a bunch of pro bodybuilders, it never comes up. It's just not a subject that we care about or speak about or not interested in, so.